Hi there, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple 555 timer oscillator, or also known as a blinking LED. This is the most basic project for a beginner in electronics, and will be the foundation of all electronics projects that you will make. So now, let's get into this. Before we get to the build, the 555 timer can be in three states. A stable, monostable, or bistable. I'll have links down below explaining. So first, the 555 timer has eight pins, and they move in this type of pattern, a U-shaped pattern from one to eight. So one is ground or negative, two is the trigger, three is the output, four is the reset, five is the control voltage, six is threshold. 7 is discharge and 8 is positive or input voltage. I won't get into much detail, but I'll have links in the description from where you can learn the function of every single pin. So now, let's begin with the circuit. So first, we begin by placing the microchip in the middle of the breadboard. Also, I'll have links from where you can buy everything. Then, we connect pin 8 to the 9 volt or positive rail and pin 1 to the ground rail. Now, we connect a 100 kilo ohm resistor from pin 7 to the positive rail. After this, we connect a jumper wire from pin 4 to the positive rail. Then, we connect a wire from pin 6 to pin 2. Now, we connect a 33 kilo ohm resistor from pin 7 to pin 6. After this, we connect a 10 microfarad capacitor from pin 2 to ground. Make sure to watch for the polarity. The negative side should have a black stripe on it. Now, we connect a 100 ohm resistor from pin 3 to an empty row on the breadboard. And at last, we connect the positive side of an LED to the resistor on the empty row, and then a negative side to the ground. And we are ready, and all is left to do is to connect a 9 volt battery. And now as you can see, the LED is blinking. Now I'm going to experiment with different values of capacitors and different value resistor from pin 7 to pin 6. You could also add a potentiometer. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and in the description down below, there will be a lot of useful information and links from where you can learn very useful information, and I'm sure that they will do a better job than I would have done. Also, there will be from where you can buy all of these electronics used in the video. So until next time, stay safe and have fun, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye! Thank <laughs> you.